This is a real quick video on some AI text summarizer comparisons. Text summarization has become one of the predominant tasks of large language models. So it's helpful to look at what options are available and what services are doing this well and how. First, we're gonna look at the quality of response and then we're gonna look at the different features offered by each of the summarizers. Feel free to use the timestamps in the description to jump to the part of this video that is most useful to you. So for my use case, I have a podcast from Mozilla called IRL, where they interview a researcher from Hugging Face, Sasha Lucioni, and I really want to hear what she has to say. So we're going to copy the transcript from that podcast and get a summary. I'm going to quickly compare the top Google search results for AI text summarizers. All I did was on Google, pull up free AI text summarizer, pick the top, I don't know, five results. Let's look at them. Okay, so this is Quillbot, the first one. I'm just going to paste this text. Looks like I only get 600 words. Let's hit summarize. Looks like it's trimming my results. And I'm getting a blank screen. Ain't nobody got time for that. Next. Here's good content. Let's paste it in. Summarize. This article discusses the risks and rewards of large language models. There are concerns about the safety of open source licenses that don't allow for military use. Oh, dang. LLMs could be effectively abused in a large influence operation campaign by sophisticated threat actors. Yikes. Okay, so I'm getting a vibe on what this tool thinks is important. Military shit. Looks like if I try to do a long summary, I need to pay, which is totally fair. Okay, summarizer.org. Based in our text, summarize, limit exceeded. It's not going to trim it for me, so I got to figure out where to trim it. 2934, go. Summary length, forgot to set it. Looks like we got an ad. Maybe they're having trouble finding sponsors, a little slow. There we go. Okay. Okay, zero formatting, so I'm not going to read through all that. Let's try the bullets. Still reads like a transcript, not a summary. Meta law masters are known as llamas. None of this makes any sense. It looks really random. Next, TLDR this. Looks like it cut us off after 10,000 characters. Where did it cut us off? Don't like that I don't know. Why data swamps? Okay, let's look for that. So give us maybe half. Let's see the summary. This podcast discusses the risks and potential harms of large language models like ChatGPT. It outlines some questions, which is kind of nice. The question seems like they would be useful for a classroom instructor or something like that. Not as much detail, but it's got questions and it's got a history, which I like. Next up, a hrefs. A hrefs. However you say it. Didn't impose a limit. That's nice. Large language models are generating controversy in the AI community. The harms of LLMs disproportionately affect marginalized communities. The industry is rushing development without robust processes for evaluating the appropriateness and safety of AI systems. Datasets used to train LLMs such as Common Crawl contain toxic and biased content. Regulation is needed. In terms of being on brand for the type of things that Mozilla tends to champion, uh, they're definitely hitting all of the key topic areas. Not great formatting. Let's see what happens when we hit bullet points. Well, that's pretty good. I like this one. Paraphraser. At Blocker Detected, welcome to 2024. Looks like this gives us a 2,000 character limit. Who wants to send us notifications? Absolutely not. Unsubscribe. I'm not getting a great feeling from this one. Oh, I'm, yeah. Already very frustrated. The details here seem kind of interesting, but woof. Every time I make a change. Yeah. No, pass. Okay. So, winner for me is this free AI summarizer tool from the notorious Achrefs. Achrefs. Uh, good summary, gives you a couple of formatting options, which you need. Gives you a few options, more like this, and modify. Just for the heck of it, let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, here we go. Sasha Lucioni, David Evan Harris, 
this is great because it starts to get into what each person talks about. So that's what I was really after. Not endorsed by anyone. I'll have you know. If you want a high level summary and you want a history, this one comes in second for me. It's got a good interface. That's TLDR this. For the heck of it, let's see what ChatGPT gives us. ChatGPT 3.5. Summarize this article. Pretty fast. Maybe that's what happens when you buy up a bajillion dollars worth of H100s. The summary is very high level. No specifics on people or technologies. Just goes to show you, you can get a summary for free from these articles using AI tools without having to pay for ChatGPT. And in the case of some of them, they're actually maybe better. So it'd be interesting to dig into next what this particular company is doing that others aren't because the summary is actually uh, pretty good. I will post the summaries from each of these tools so you can cast your own vote. Okay, now that we've looked at the quality of the output, I want to look at the difference in features offered. Quillbot was the only one to offer the ability to identify keywords and filter the summary by the chosen keyword interest area. So for example, we see open source here, but we also might see a specific person like Bridget Todd that could really change what the summary looks like. The common features were the ability to format by paragraph, by bullet points, to select a different summary length from short to long, the ability to surface statistics about the summary, and the ability to export with different options. Content length limitations were a barrier for some of these tools. Quillbot had a length for the free version of only 600 words, so that wasn't very helpful. Some of them offer a premium model for better search results. My guess is that they're using either ChatGPT 3.5 or ChatGPT 4 under the hood. Each one offered different options for summary length. Some of them were a little more fine-grained, like this one offers a percentage slider. This one also offers a best line option, which we're looking at here. It's not very good, so I'm not going to give many bonus points for that, but it's a neat idea. Language selection, you'll get varying support for different international languages other than English, which is nice. TLDR, this has a few different import options. It also has a browser extension for multiple browsers, including Firefox. Bonus points for Firefox, nice. And then if we look at the results, it's a very similar interface to ChatGPT. We've got our chat history here, which I didn't see in any of the other models. Two of them allowed for the ability to select tone, which was really nice. This is an academic article, so the ability to hone my summary to that voice is really helpful. The other unique features on this one were the more like this and modify features, uh, which is helpful if you want to get more output or different variations. And lastly, this one had a couple of nice features to check for plagiarism and check grammar. So let's see how these all stack up. I just gave them a single point if it was sort of like has it or doesn't have it. And if it was a situation where it needed to be ranked, I ranked them from one to six six being the highest to get the total number of points here. So you can look at the different feature comparisons for all the different tools. Uh, looks like the prefs did indeed come in first. They kind of cascade down from there. Quillbot came in last. Sorry, Quillbot. Anyway, if you've come across good summarization tools, feel free to post them in the comments. You know about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.